there are many ways to say why you missed out on something. Either, you know, early bird gets the worm, or in some cases, you snooze, you lose. Beer, 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 beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Ruska Brewski review. And today the beer I have for you is by the All or Nothing Brewing Company, or Brew House, sorry. This is their Snooze You Lose Honey Brown Ale. Coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. And how many IBUs? 30 IBUs. This is what it looks like. It's it's their, their traditional like uh, heavy man or like fighting man. Fighting a purple bear. Very, very interesting. Honey brown ale, so it makes sense that there's a bear on here with a gold chain of a bee. That's a that's a that's a that, that's a hell of a bear. Uh, but yeah, let's crack this open and see what we got. Before we do that, though, there are perfect pour instructions. Turn over, gently spin, pour and enjoy. It says it right there. So let's turn over. Gently spin, or aggressively spin, and we turn back over, and we crack it open. Now we're going to pour it up and enjoy. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Alrighty. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful brown mahogany looking a little bit of red coming through in the light oh off-white head on top that looks like a solid honey brown lager and i'm already salivating that's half a smell oh man nice honey deep toffee and caramel slightly nutty or woodsy even even a bit earthy oh who Oh, this smells good. It smells like a full flavored beer. Let's just get into it. Okay. Okay. It's very, it's bitter and almost like sour, like a strong sourdough bread. Rather than bold and, and and sweet, the 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 caramel and toffee are there, and then the nuttiness is there, and the honey is there, and a little bit of woodsy uh, woodsy notes are there, slightly earthy, but that big bitter, almost sourdoughy, bready characteristic overtakes everything. And then in the in the finish, you're left with that sourdough bitterness. And a very nice woodsy nutty flavor with light honey. But that one bitter soury, sourdoughy note just overtakes all the other flavors in the sip. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking. And that flavor seems to just cut through everything else, diminishing those very what I thought were going to be initial big bold flavors really delicious flavors that you get off the aroma but that sour bitterness cuts through it and mellows those out completely leaving you wanting more but never getting it so that's sort of where I stand Because it smells big, it smells bold, it smells amazing, and then it just gets all that all those aromas, which do translate into the flavor, are cut out by that bitter, super sour doughy bread sort of flavor, and just kind of kind of ruins the whole thing. It really does ruin the whole thing. And it takes so much away from all the other aspects of this beer. And I'm left quite disappointed, to be honest. Finding a good honey brown is kind of kind of tricky. This one really doesn't do it for me. Let's read what the can has to say. 
All or nothing, snooze, you lose. Honey Brown Ale. 5.5% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs. All or Nothing Snooze You Lose is a medium brown ale brewed with Ontario wildflower honey and caramel malt. Sweet, pleasant aromas of chocolate are balanced with hints of espresso and honey. Now, I'm not really getting chocolate or espresso. I'm getting more nutty, woody. Yeah, nutty and woody flavors uh, and aromas, but that sourdough bread comes in. Ooh, eh, not fun. Ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, honey, and yeast. Do you have a Surgeon General warning? I'm guessing because this does get shipped down to the States, that would be the only reason why there needs to be a Surgeon General warning. Proudly brewed in Oshawa, Ontario. Uh, recommended glass is a pint glass. They use two different hops and four malts. On the bottom for a brewed on date, I don't see one. Which is kind of a bummer because I kind of want to know when this beer was was made. That might be a reason to, as to why there is such a... Uh, a strong sourdoughy note. But I guess we'll never know. Moving over to the website, allornothing.beer. You go to their beer section, and they only show two. The All or Nothing Hustle Over Hype Pale Wheat. And the All or Nothing uh, Think Bigger Cream Ale. And even for the Think Bigger Cream Ale, they have a picture of their... Uh, Hoppeweizen, or hop, yeah, Hoppenweiss. Nothing listed on the seasonal. In the online store, they do show Think Bigger, Snooze You Lose, and the Hustle Over Hype Pale Ale. Let's see if I click Snooze or Lose. Here we go. When well, you gotta go over to the, to the store page to find a bit more out of the beer. Uh, ba ba ba. Has the same exact description as it is on the can, and same list of the ABV, 5%, 30 IBUs, but they also add a serving temperature of four to six degrees Celsius. Uh, but other than that, not too much. You can also pick this beer up at on the online store or at the LCBO for $3.15. But kind of a bummer that you have to go to the store page on the actual website uh, to find out information. Because you'd think it would just, it would be on the, uh, you know, the, the main website. But, hey, what can you do? At least something's there. I'm just, I'm just pretty bummed. I'm pretty disappointed in this beer. The aromas on this is, is, is amazing. But that, like I said, that sourdoughy bitterness just <clears throat> cuts through it all and just sends it all to, sends, sends all the other great flavors by the wayside and, and more in the background, which doesn't seem right for a honey brown ale. I don't know. I don't know. A little bummed. A little bummed. Actually pretty bummed. Finally, moving over to untap the snooze you lose honey brown ale has been given a 3.33 bottle caps out of 5 and that's out of 47 ratings. I'm really hoping that because I can't find a brewed on or best before date, that this is possibly an older can, and that it's it's going a little bad, because I really want this to be good, because the aromas are so damn amazing. But let's just have the final sip. Let's get right to ratings. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's still there. It's still there. Overall, really great aromas. It's it smells beautiful. Caramel, toffee, honey, woody, slightly earthy. Mm -mm -mm. Flavor on the other hand, you get all those flavors from the aromas, but they're in the background and they're really cut out and minimalized because of that sourdough bitter taste that seems to just slice through everything. And, and it just it ruins it, to be honest. It really, that note ruins everything about this beer in, in, the, in the taste uh, aspect of things. It is a medium bodied beer, but still very goes down very, very well. Nice, sits in the stomach perfectly. But yeah, that one flavor note just sound, kind of just oop, ruins, ruins, ruins it for me. So overall, snooze you lose. Gets a solid, gets a solid six out of 10 for me. 
Astro presentation. I'm a big fan of the can design. It's very colorful, very artsy. No, not really artsy, but you know, very, you know, very, just a little story. You can make a little story between the man and the bear. It's like the Revenant in a more playful beer style. Um, great information too. Ingredients, description, IBUs, ABV, a little pouring instructions is perfect. Two types of hops, four malts. I just wish I knew what they were. If you're going to showcase that, well, let us know, please. And on the bottom, missing, just in general, a brewed on our best before date. The other thing that gripes me is the website. You can't find the beer on the beer tab page. You got to go over to the store to find out the information there, which I get. Yeah, you can have it there, but put it on the beer section too, please and thank you. So overall, presentation gets a solid, gets a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want me to review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Brewski, I'd be greatly appreciated as well. With all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Brewski, and like I always say, crack and enjoy. Cheers. Now we gotta make the best out of what we got with this honey brown ale. Cause I love me honey brown and I'm disappointed in this one just a little bit. But hopefully it's just a bad can and it can get better than this on the next one. Cheers!